your kindergarten friends. So today we're going to be making our own barnyard kind of scene. So the supplies you're going to need are a blue paper, a green paper, some glue, a black crayon, a white crayon, scissors, and this is the really fun part, if you could find some cotton balls, you can almost guess what animal we're going to be making. Imagine feeling these cotton balls. If you've ever gone to a petting zoo, maybe you've felt some sheep before. They're nice and fluffy and woolly. So we're going to get to make some sheep today. So if you don't have blue or green paper, no worries. You can just use a white paper and color your sky in blue and color a mountain in with green. But since I have some fun papers, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to draw a mountain on this. And it can be a lumpy mountain, a hilly one, and you can just get your black crayon and color it however big or curvy that you'd want. Once you have your curve, you can go ahead and cut that out carefully going on your line. Alright, so once I have my mountains all cut out, I'm going to be gluing the mountains onto my blue sky. So you can put the mountains on either way. I'm going to get my glue bottle and put some glue just on the outside parts of my paper. Just a little bit will do. You don't need to go glue crazy. You can also use a glue stick if you'd prefer. So then carefully pick up your paper and make sure you line it up very carefully onto your blue sky paper. It should fit right on top and then you can kind of just smoosh that on a little bit. Alrighty, so then we got our blue sky up here and our green grassy mountains down here. We're going to be um, taking our cotton balls and gluing them on and if you don't have cotton balls don't worry, you can just use a white crayon on green or blue paper. Or if you don't have your green or blue paper, you can just draw on the outline of your fuzzy sheep on your white paper with some black or even on a different piece of paper. You can just get a white piece of paper and just draw some sheep on there. Kind of just like make some lumpy little cloud shapes and you can cut those out and glue them on. But if you have fun cotton balls, we're going to be taking them, and if you have really small ones, you can almost like stretch out the fuzziness, kind of just making it a little bit bigger and fluffier, and then you're just going to get a little bit of glue on the back of that. It works best with Elmer's like drippy glue. Glue stick should be fine too though. We're going to put the sheep on the bottom of our paper. We're going to do a few of them because sheep like to go in herds, like flocks of sheep, I mean. Flock of sheep. So you can make your sheep cotton balls really super fluffy if they're smaller to start out with. Put some glue on the back of that. Stick it on. And perhaps you'd like to do a few more. Completely up to you. But what I want to teach you guys is if things are closer to you, they look bigger. And when they get farther away from you, they look like they're getting smaller. So we're going to keep our big cotton balls on the bottom. And then we're going to start adding some sheep that get smaller and smaller. And you'll see when we get to that in a sec. But I have my three up close little sheep. Kind of smoosh it down a little bit. And right now they don't really look like sheep. They look like 
clouds almost, but we're going to be adding our design on there so it will look a little bit more like our sheep. So taking your black crayon, we're going to be adding faces. So you can just add that black crayon in the front or back of your cloudy looking cotton ball. And you're just coloring in a black circle right next to there. And then once you have your heads, you're going to add some legs. They have four little legs. So kind of going underneath and just drawing four little legs underneath. If you would like to add some little ears, you're welcome to. They kind of have like some pointy ears. Or you can just leave it like a circle so then it looks like they're kind of um, just basic, like simple looking. That's fine. So we have our fuzzy woolly sheep up front, very close. The next part we're going to do is we're going to use our white crayon and we're gonna draw some sheep on top of the hill. They're gonna look like they're way off in the distance, really far away. So we're gonna take that white crayon and just do really pushing hard on your paper. Make a smaller white cloud looking sheep on the edge of your mountain. Make sure it's not as big as the front ones. We want it to look like the sheep is way off in the background. So I have my three sheep. I want to do my heads and my legs. And make sure you are pushing very hard with your white crayon. And if you don't have that white crayon, you can just cut out small white shapes on a white piece of paper. That's completely fine to do. Once you have your sheep that are fuzzy up close and you have a few sheep in the background, you're welcome to add some clouds up here with your white crayon or if you want to use up any extra cotton balls that you have for the clouds, you can have some clouds floating in your sky. So you can make some really like wispy looking clouds or if you have more cotton balls, maybe just make them extra fluffy. And if you want, you can glue them up in your sky. Make sure that they're really spread out and fluffy looking. Because you don't want it to look like you have sheeps floating up in the sky, right? We want it to look like there's a cloud that's kind of passing by. So I'm just pulling apart my cotton ball. Adding some glue. clouds in the sky. And the last thing I would like us to do is we're going to draw a fence for our sheep so then they don't get lost and we can kind of have that extra detail here. So we're going to just be taking our black crayon going over following a line of our mountain and you're just going to do another little shape following that line you just drew and we're gonna draw the fence post so it kind of has to go into the ground so we're having these bars kind of go it almost looks like a train track kind of but it's meant to look like a fence kind of dividing the field up and if you want your fence to go all the way across that would be super cool too but if you want to just keep it halfway, that's fine too. If you want to divide your sheep, I mean, you would keep it halfway. Or if you want to have it the whole way across to separate the different faraway sheep from the close up sheep, that's cool too. So you can kind of see in my artwork, I got my fuzzy clouds in the sky. You can add a little bit more clouds up here if you'd like. I got my sheep in the background really small 
and then I got my sheep up close very fluffy and bigger and you can even like pet your sheep and imagine that they're saying bah so it's really cool thanks for making art with me friends and I hope you enjoyed making your fuzzy sheep barnyard scene and I will see you later thanks